is going on loud and proud crowd hopefully guys are doing absolutely fantastic we've got the heat blowing so hard right now because it is five degrees outside here in the midwest right now at least in my area in the midwest it's just getting blistering cold and it's still only mid-november not a huge fan of that temperature right now i'm okay with it when it's a little bit later on when it's more suitable for the timing of the year we're at the car wash right now because this power stroke is filthy we just took it on a long trip to ohio we looked at a couple properties over there we actually looked at a house where reagan and i live right now isn't necessarily where we want to be and it's a great location for now just because when in the transition of when we got married and we were still dating and all that stuff i was like okay i need to get a place ready so when we're married you know we have something and it can't be too far out of the way because there's just going to be a lot going on with the moving and the timing and all that stuff we have a place right now but it's not really like where we want to be it's just kind of like where we are right now just because that's what was the most convenient and easiest thing to do at the time but we want to live out in central ohio so we looked at a property with 60 acres nice place nice shop three car heated and cooled garage just tons of room tons of space it was a, it was a giant house but it's just not quite ready to jump on something like that but we're very very close time will tell but there's just a few other things we'd like to do right now that are just more like just wise and smart decisions like investing in real estate properties and stuff like that that's just kind of, that's our move that's what we want to do we don't believe in stocks and all that other bull crap that you can have one guy out of several thousand get lucky we want something that's like a concrete been proven year after year after year after year yeah after year you know with rental unit real estate that's just kind of the way we want to go so we're trying to nail down a few properties get some you know passive income actual passive income coming in get them under management and then after that we'll venture off to getting a place out there in ohio but anyways guys stay tuned let's show you guys around this truck here and in terms of the information on that we'll kind of keep you guys in the loop as things pro progress if things get pretty serious about that so of course this is all ice but look at this <laughs> i mean the emblem is just covered the front radiator or intercooler i'm pretty sure that's just like i don't know whatever you guys get it could be ac condenser i don't know but it's coated in ice back behind there the headlights are just a sheet of ice the hood is just filthy everything underneath is just filthy salt and snow and just nasty so we're going to get this truck cleaned down majorly and then we'll get back with you with the final product take a good look and there's what she looks like now didn't turn out perfect but <laughs> eight dollars later that's as good as i could get it my running boards wouldn't even go up because there's so much ice on them it's kind of like a safety thing it's not supposed to go up if it thinks there's somebody on it or something in the way and uh they go up now so at least at least that's good i wish we had a wash where you could just drive up and it'll just spray with hot steaming water everything underneath the truck just to get it good i know that mike's car wash does that but these big trucks any heavy duty truck with aftermarket tires that are like a 12 wide they they just don't fit and they won't let you go in but um at least not around here so anyways we're gonna get back over to the house we've got a couple things we've got to do over there i don't know if we were gonna do anything else with frosty or if you're gonna do something else with the other 12 valve but we'll get over there and we'll figure that out in just a minute okay so change of plans we were gonna do some work on old frosty but frosty doesn't want to start because the batteries again like i said are weak because the guy said it didn't run much in the past year and it had sat for the past month not ran and so they pretty, they're pretty much drained, and I think at this point they're pretty much shot. So I'm gonna have to get new batteries for the truck. Other than that, though, the truck drives and runs really good. Um, but we've got a piece for the interior of the second general horn that I think you guys are going to very much so like and appreciate on the interior of this truck. So let's get into exactly what we're gonna be doing here with the interior of this truck. You guys can clearly see there's some wood trim pieces here, right? There's some pieces that go around the vents there's some pieces that go around the dash bezel there's a piece right here that i'm not sure what it's for <laughs> i mean there's a bunch of assorted pieces and parts for the dash um, of the truck of course over here we've got some more parts this is going to go around the other side right there and then you've got some small panel pieces here which i'm not sure exactly what these are for like that part of the truck but i feel like that wouldn't make sense if that's supposed to be a speaker but then again I don't know. It's just that exact same shape. We got a little part here for the tray that's not in the truck. Then we've got a part here that's supposed to go on the front cover there for the cup holder spot. Uh, a bunch of, just a bunch of small 
parts and pieces here that are for the interior of the truck just to kind of give it that wood grain vibe and feel to go with the interior that we're gonna be going with in this truck which again, that's another topic we gotta get to. Also, stay tuned, guys, because we have a monster announcement coming up very soon, and I think you guys probably have an idea of kind of like what we're doing, but we're doing a giveaway. Obviously, it's gonna be a diesel truck this time, because I said that Chevy wasn't really like usually what we do. It's gonna be two trucks. Comment down in the comment section below of all the trucks, which two trucks do you think it's gonna be that are gonna be in this giveaway? Comment them down below. Stay tuned, you guys are gonna love it. And then on another note, in terms of the winner of Limitless, the limited 2019 Ram 3500, the winner is Jonathan Rodden. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. But I spoke with Jonathan a couple days ago and I know some people were like, oh my gosh, dude, it's been 14 days since the giveaway ended, all this other stuff, blah, blah, blah. Well, I first wanna let you guys know, first off, legally, you cannot draw a winner until I think it's either five or seven days after the closing date of the giveaway, just to make sure all entries are in, everything's final and good to go. And then the sweepstakes administration they proceed with a drawing of a random winner, okay? And then after they get a winner, after they get the legal documentation signed saying that you know they wanna claim the truck, then I get permission to give the phone call. So it's not just like, oh, it ends the next day and I'm just like not announcing the winner the day after the giveaway ends, like, and I'm just keeping this to myself. There's a time period in between where all of those entries get tallied up, everything gets all you know sorted out and dealt with, and then they proceed to drawing a winner, then they go into the legal paperwork with the winner, and then I get to call the winner. So there's all this stuff that goes about that's a lot more than most people realize. They probably think like, oh, it just ends, you just, uh, there you go, I picked this guy. That's not how it goes, that's not how it works. Hopefully you guys all understand. Here's the interior now with the wood grain pieces all over across the dash. We've got the wood grain panel up here that kind of sits down there in that uh, little swell where you can set stuff up on top. You've got the wood grain trim around here as well as around the actual vents themselves. They actually look and fit really nicely. Same with on this side, you can see how all the pieces kind of fit. Same with in there, all the way around. Let me go to the other side and show you some on that side. Very well fitted. Looks actually pretty nice, pretty clean. Only thing, that I will say I dislike about the kit, and I can't figure it out, is why the wood grain piece, they don't make a piece that fits along this side to connect around the top. I'm gonna call the company and kinda see if they make a piece like that, because it connects all the way down around on both sides, and then it doesn't on this half of the bezel, and there was no piece for it. So that's what I'm trying to understand, because right now it doesn't make a lot of sense, um, still a lot to do with the interior, like a ton to do with the interior. There was like a couple little pieces here which kind of look like they're for the door panel, kind of where that small speaker is on the door by the armrest, but my truck has speakers there. I don't know if some of them don't and that's why they send those with the kit. And this is for that handle for the little pull out for like a little change tray. That's what I call it. Whether you use it for change or not, doesn't matter, but that's what I call it. But this truck also does not have one in there right now. We have to order one of those so it can be kind of complete. And then I'm gonna ask them about that bezel that goes around the other half because I never got one. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to have one or not, but it would definitely finish off that dash um, with all the pieces because it just kind of looks a little bit incomplete without that. In terms of the frame, we're about to wrap this up. We're almost done with it. And then after that, I might just take some Rust-Oleum paint and kind of paint the leaf packs and hangers. Um, but other than that, the back half, not the front half, but the back half of the frame is pretty much about done. And then we're gonna be able to put the bed back on or a flat bed back on. I don't know. I'm just speaking out, thinking out loud here. And then we'll see what we can do with that so we can get moving on with this truck a little faster. Just started up the fifth gen here. She's high idle and pretty good. One last little drive. I don't know if I said this, but the winner's actually out of South Carolina which I think we had one other winner. I don't know if he's from North Carolina or South Carolina. So he's going down south where it belongs, to be quite honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't know. You never know where these trucks are gonna go, but when you find out a truck is going down south, it kind of makes you smile a little bit because you're like, oh, thank goodness, it's gonna not rot to crap. And this guy's super stoked. I mean, he is beyond excited to get this truck and I'm just super happy for the guy. Like, they could use it. Two little girls, 
and they haul a camper all the time. They have a 7.3, but he needs a four-door now that he's got, you know, the two little girls. It's going to be a good suit for them, good match, and just cannot wait to meet them, get to see them up here and uh, hand over the keys to my baby, the Limited. This truck right here needs new batteries. I'm not driving 30 minutes to Rural King to get these batteries swapped out. I'm just gonna go to Napa, see if they'll take these batteries in as a core charge and get really good and like Napa Legend batteries, put them in this. I want to work on Reagan's truck. I gotta swap some wheels for her on her truck. We need to go get diesel for the heater for the garage so that it's not 15 degrees in there. Also stay tuned because tonight at midnight, launches our all new diesel giveaway. And this is gonna be a really good one, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. Uh, I just love that. Yeah, it's nice. Grabbing snow and it's freezing cold out. Okay. Cause I gotta get these batteries swapped out, but first let's get the Ford started. The old Ford here is gonna be our choice of truck for the day. There we go. So she's gonna be warming up here. We're gonna get those batteries pulled, dropped over here on the ground, and we'll get on our way. So we got Frosty back, take the keys. It's looking pretty spiffy now. Already got some dirt on it, but other than the little bit of dirt we got on it right there, came out pretty clean. Paint looks really good. Real party. So we're actually going to eventually be swapping out those headlights, because I'm just not a huge fan of them. But let's get into the shop. Real quick, the project we're gonna be working on next is gonna involve a lot of moving vehicles around. The wifey is wanting to go out of town for the weekend and she wants to take her white truck. However, the white truck has super big wide wheels and tires on it and if anybody knows anything about traction and snow and ice, that is a very bad combination for traction. We're gonna be taking these off of her truck because she doesn't need them on here for the winter and if she wants to drive her truck, she has to have the stocks back on it. So we're gonna be putting the stocks back on this and we're gonna be putting these on her red truck and then we're gonna be parking her red truck in the shop to keep it out of the weather now that it's getting cold and snowing outside. And then this is gonna be parked outside of the shop and we have to keep one section open for working on trucks in here. So let's start the process of getting everything moved around right now. And a half hours later I burned all the boxes that were sitting in here except for that one there's a hood in there that is actually still for sale I thought it was sold and then the guy had to back out due to some other difficulties with this truck that happened to come up so if anybody's interested in that I will now take 350 if you guys are interested 350 it's a brand new cow hood if you're interested message me anyways I don't know how many of you guys that are watching this remember I'm sure a lot of you know a lot of you might not I bought this for my wife as a birthday gift back in August. Actually, it might have been back in July I bought it for her. But anyways, she's got these wheels and tires that came off of this truck, which are some Anthems, by the way. 22 by 14s. Really cool, really killer look on that setup with the 15 and a half wide setup on the Nittos. I mean, it just looks really, really good. But anyways, we need to convert the wheel and tire setup back to the stocks because she's gonna be doing some traveling 
and these are just much better in like snow and ice than that huge footprint that kind of spreads that traction out so much across the ground to where it can't really get down and bite into the ice and snow the way it needs to to be the most efficient when she's going in four wheel drive down the road if she needs to use it. So anyways, we're gonna be jacking up the front end of this truck up, putting some jack stands underneath the front end. Then we're gonna be jacking up the front of this truck, swapping the fronts over, dropping it down. Then we're gonna do the same with the back and swap the backs over. So let's get to doing that right now and I'll just show you guys when the job is complete. Right now, bam! Wheels and tires have been swapped around, so now fourth gen is on stocks. Rosine's back on the 14 wides. We're gonna get this truck pulled out and back to number here, and then we're gonna get this truck pulled out of the shop. Now listen up, everybody. This video is gonna end right here, right now, but I do want you to know a few things. First off, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up. And I also want you guys to know, tonight is the start of a new giveaway. Now we haven't done a giveaway like this ever, and we haven't done a giveaway this style in a long time. So who remembers back when I used to do like a couple different 12 valves? One was a manual, one was an auto, one was a flatbed, one wasn't a flatbed, a first gen or a second gen or the first gen in the Longhorn. Like who remembers when I did the optional giveaways? In other words, you had the option to pick between two different trucks. Now in the past, the trucks were never really that different. There was usually a 12 out with an auto or manual, or dually versus not dually, or first gen versus Longhorn, which the first gen versus Longhorn one was two different extremes. People who were into the old classics and people who just liked the new latest and greatest, you know, all the fancy stuff. But this is a giveaway we have never ever done before. And it's the option between two different trucks, but the two different trucks are completely different brands. And the two different trucks are completely different generations of trucks. One is a much older, the original old school style, and the other is one of the latest and greatest. So I will let you guys go to the website and find out exactly which two trucks it is up for grabs. But all I'm gonna tell you is this, this giveaway is only 21 days long. That's only three weeks. We've never done a giveaway for diesel that's only three weeks long, let alone trucks like these two. Go check out the website. Every $5 is two entries to win, and there's only 21 days to enter. Not four weeks, not five weeks, not six weeks like the limited. Three weeks, 21 days. Get in while you can. Every $5, two entries to win. Cannot wait to see you guys in the next video, and also, in the next video or two, we're gonna be seeing Jonathan from South Carolina to pick up his brand new 2019 Ram 3500 Limited. Can't wait to see his reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below. Subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family now. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.